Greetings, it's Saturday. I hope you're well. I've got this very old computer, which is an Acorn A3000. And it's been sat in my dad's loft for years and years, so we're going to open it up and see what ghastliness lies inside. Note, interestingly, how much cleaner the bottom is than the top. There is the, I think that's probably the serial number, that might be the model number there, the AKB01. Uh, but you can see it was made in 1989, so it's approximately 35 years old. I seem to have gotten everything off, apart from this screw, which is completely seized in here. This is like a plastic clip that's got to come down, so I've got to try and get this out. I've just sprayed it in some penetrant, and I'm going to leave it for 10 minutes. Well, I'm happy to say I finally managed to get it out using some mole grips, and it just snapped off. You can see a metal plate behind. I've just got to get that out. We can see some rust on the back, but it's not half as bad as I thought it would be. Nineteen eighty. No, it's not half as bad as I thought it would be. Because I just saw the uh, rust on the back of the connectors, i.e., the other side of that. I'm not sure how the keyboard comes out. Oh, there you go. That is a huge battery. It's like lifted off the board, so obviously something not 100% right there. There you can see severe corrosion, etc. Look at that. Lovely. So yeah, there's definitely some obvious corrosion around the... Uh, capacitor there and a lot around the battery that is a really big battery that's a v280p by the looks of it v280r made in singapore anyway that was a look inside that 35 year old computer i've got another one so uh, when i get a minute i'll open that and i'll upload a video cheers